It's a nice day here in the San Francisco Bay Area. There's only one person here in the skate park. Um, it's not just one person aside from just me. So I pretty much got the park to myself, I guess. Decided to take the track of the Riva for a spin, another one. So, yeah, like I said, there's one person out there on the park, but you know, I pretty much got the park to myself, kind of. So yeah, let's take the E-Revo out for a spin. This is the same area where I actually did that backflip last time I was here. Let me see if I can do that again. Woo! I like going through those banks. It's so much fun. That was smooth. Let's see if I can do it. Nice. Let me see if I if I caught that Look, one. Okay. Up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a track of the Revo. Ooh, that was smooth. Okay, that was a little too short though. Not too bad. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a track, it's a Revo, and it crashed again. <laughs> Hit the wall and crashed. See how smooth we can go. Ah, oh, crap. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, that was, that was a pretty high jump. Oh, really, that was smooth, that was smooth. Not bad. Ooh, it was about to attack me. A little bit nose down. <laughs> having some fun already. Talladega be like. Oops. Talladega be like. That was more of a Daytona bank than a Talladega. I was able to make, uh, uh, I was able to make some smooth jumps going from that part to here. So let's see if we can do it from this angle. Not bad, not bad. Let's try that again. Crap. Let's do that again. Mm. Nothing but flipping over and doing the walk of shame. Woo, that was better, that was better, that was better than before. Oh, not again. Sorry if my camera work isn't the best, guys. I'm recording and driving at the same time. So it's not gonna be as professional. If I had a GoPro, this would be a lot better. Oh, there we go.
Yeah, <laughs> so fast I couldn't even catch it on camera. Ah, oh, oh, there goes the battery. Crap, almost had it. And the body's out. <laughs> the body's out. The body's out. Look at that. The body's out. <laughs> right there. Carnage report. Let's go take a look at some of the stuff I broke. First off at the front. That's gone. That's gone. Tabs to hold, that these screws hold down to, they're gone. Uh, everything else is still intact, really it is. Um, I actually tuned the shocks uh, with a thousand weight oil, so they should run. And that's why I was able to get those nice landings without having to bounce a whole lot. Because the stock ones were like horrible. And um, I just replaced this upper control arm over here just two days ago and it broke again. And this is the one of the things that you actually need to upgrade to a better, to a better part. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, it's, it's a small little truck. So, I mean, it's gonna, if you're gonna do some skateboard, uh, skate park bashing, uh, I wouldn't recommend this car to, to do that but you know I mean it it can still hold a good beating believe me it everything is still intact um, I mean I can still drive with this slight slop but you know I'm gonna replace us it's a good thing I got an extra part for that but uh, yeah um, do I recommend the Trax Mini E Revo for a skate park bash session um, that's clearly up to you uh, but just go ahead and wait for my final review of this thing and then I'll go ahead and sum things up But aside from that, I mean I had a really fun time at the skate park um, There was only one person out there on the park out on the skate park So it's pretty much all clear for me to drive my RC around there compared to last time I was here There were so many people so yeah Okay guys, that is it for now for the bash in our second skate park bash session with the trackers e Revo uh, 116 scale. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys again soon.